People in western Japan are dealing with tremors after a powerful quake hit the area on Friday afternoon. The magnitude 6.6 .6 quake hit Totori Prefecture just after 2 p.m. It registered 6 minus on the Japanese seismic scale of 0 to 7. We're over the town of Yurihama, above the playground of a junior high school. We can see about 50 students who've evacuated the building. I was on a bridge when the quake struck. I've never experienced such a jolt and was shocked. I was in bed when the tremors hit. The shaking lasted quite a while. More than a dozen people were injured. Electricity is back on after supply to more than 50,000 households in the prefecture was disrupted. Some bullet train services were suspended. One of the trains made an emergency stop in a tunnel. Local airports canceled some flights. The scope of the damage became clearer from the air. Many of the rooftops in this area have missing tiles. Here's a cemetery. You can see lots of toppled tombstones. Officials are warning of increased seismic activity. We ask you to stay on the alert for a possible quake of the same strength in the next week or so. Please take sufficient precautions for your safety. Nuclear regulators say they haven't received any reports of trouble at nuclear power plants located in the region. We've been able to get through to Juliana Kelleher in Yurihama in Totori Prefecture, one of the areas where the strongest quake was recorded. She's been working for more than two years as a coordinator for international relations. Well, today I was attending a student performance at one of the local elementary schools when the largest earthquake struck this afternoon. Uh, they have been, pre been preparing for the next group of students to present when the gymnasium began to shake uh, rather violently. The electricity went out um, and everyone was rather startled, but everyone was able to evacuate the building in a very orderly fashion. Um, we they had us all gather on the sports field outside and we waited for more information. Um, at that time we learned it was um, on the Japanese seismic scale, uh, a little less than a six and um, as well as the good news that there was no tsunami threat, um, which was a blessing. And um, it was also nice to have all the parents and children gathered in one place. Currently, the aftershocks are still continuing um, from time to time, and there have been reports of damage to buildings and rooftops in the area, um, especially on the older buildings, um, as well, of course, the items falling off of shelves, as you would expect in this situation. But fortunately, um, there have been no injuries reported here in Yurihama, and only a few minimal um, injuries reported in kind of the neighboring towns and cities. So we are all very uh, thankful for that. Um, the town has set up, I believe, four emergency shelters. Um, there's no uh, need to necessarily evacuate, but they are, they are um, open for anyone who wishes to use those and would feel safer there. The governor of Totori has requested that self-defense force personnel be dispatched for disaster relief activities. Last week, a fire at a Tokyo Electric Power Company substation left more than half a million households in the capital without electricity. On Friday, TEPCO conducted a blackout simulation drill to ensure efficiency in the event of a major power outage. 
The simulation assumed that trouble at a transmission facility cut power to 1.7 million households in central Tokyo. Ten employees took part in the drill at TEPCO's training facility. Four other participants were technicians who had actually responded to last week's outage. The team reviewed contingency plans and coordinated with transmission facilities to identify power supply routes to use during a critical incident.